Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Came In. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark, Emily's story, as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we went through the Dark Man's Temple, but eventually came back to Deceto, thank God, with some bits and bobs which we had a look through. But now we've got to go and take a look in the empty room. So let's get into it. Ha ha ha, yes. All right, so we do have the key for this door, do we not? But we need to go and have a look in the empty room. So where is the empty room? I think it's in the first floor, if memory serves. Is it? Ruth's room. Ah, yes, there you go, first floor. Okay, well, we'll head back up there and um, take a look. I don't think we can go back through here. Oh, no, maybe we can. Ah, there you go. It's returned to normal. Returned to normal, see at last. Good God. What? Locked? Bloody hell. Can we not? Can we go out this way? We definitely can't go out that way. I know it won't let us. Can we go out this way? Aha! Here we are. Alright, I think we're actually right outside the empty... Yes, we are. But what's in Ruth's room that we had to have a look at? Oh, we need to find a uh, a bulb for that camera, did we not? Okay, let's this, take a little look around. This is my room. Ashes of indigo. Another line up. Brilliant. I recognise this view. Oh, safe. Hello. Hmm. I don't know the combination. Wait. Maybe I do. Do we have a do we have something about our person to tell us? Jeremy's treatment, the empty room. The empty room. No, nothing in there. Um Cassandra's things, Cassandra's last page. Hmm. I don't I don't think 913 would work here, would it? 9 1 No, but 918 will. Hey, well, we got the bulb. Perfect. Brilliant. Uh, what's this? Darling, I finally found that photograph from my time in France during the war. I don't expect this to be your fiancé, but it did make me think of him. What an incredible man he must have been. You were lucky in a way. He could have been a nobody and died falling into the Mississippi. Instead, he volunteered to travel across the world to fight for people in despair, dying with honor like Achilles at Troy. I am jealous of you. Or maybe him. It's all incredibly romantic. That's what I wanted to say. Please feel free to use my camera if you want to. It might cheer you up. It might bring him closer to you. Even if just in memory. Ruth. Oh, so maybe... I don't know, it sounds like... Maybe Ruth and Emily kind of How long have I been here? Liked each other? I don't I don't I don't know. Let's just have a little look around before we do anything else. Doesn't look like there's anything else here, so what have we got here? Listen to me. When I get back one something something something. I'll wait here alone in the dark. Death do us part, listen to me. When I get back, I did this. I wrote that. Um, one something something something. Nineteen eighteen. I thought I'd seen that message somewhere. So nineteen eighteen. All right. Ah, 918, of course, that's for the safe. Ah, well, there you go. We've, we've pre-figured that out, unfortunately, before looking at the wall. But never mind, we have, um, we have the, the bulb. Bulb. Even though it's actually a lamp. Okay. Uh, can we, yep. Okay. Oh, crap. Right, many that's bright. Is this how you travel, Ruth? Fine. Lauren, you're a 
world rages on, and America is doing its part to hold back the German aggression. Ships from Boston and here? New Orleans arrived yesterday to bolster our gallant forces in France. These men will play a crucial role in helping our allies defend the innocent and defeat the German war machine. In trenches, they will defend themselves against the charging horde with razor-sharp ingenuity, all while planning how to advance the front with the use of artillery, machine guns, and pure American spirit. But there are more things oh. than bullets and explosives that can cheat a man out of his God-given right to live. On the home front, a deadly influenza has claimed many lives. In New Orleans, almost a thousand souls have perished in... Oh! Ah, so did I'll find you, John. Emily's fiance pass away in the in the trenches while he was at war, or did he get the influenza or something? Okay. What was that? Okay. What? 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 What was that? Jeez. Ah. Nothing. God bless it. Okay. There we go. Oh. Do we go this way? This way then. So there, or Just check. There's nothing here for us. No, no. Oh, this looks safe, doesn't it? Good God. Let's take a peep. I assume it would be that way through the mines. But... Wow. Lots of dead folks. We're in the trenches, aren't we? Let's, okay. So can we go through here. John. Nothing in there. Gone right round in a circle, I th think. We may have done. I don't. Let's just check we've not missed anything. I don't want to miss anything. John! Don't think he's here, Em. So it is through here. That's fine. Just didn't want to miss anything, folks. Because I know there's lanyaps that we still haven't found. Did we have a look in here? I don't think we did. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Maybe he was lost during the war, like he went missing and nobody knows where he went or something. Okay. What the? Oof. 
Good God. <gasps> okay. Oh God, I thought I was done with you. What the hell is that? Is there something in here? No. Is it coming this way? Oh yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. Ugh, look at it. What the hell is that thing? Some kind of weird, I don't know. Monster. Bull monster or something. Ugh. Is it behind us? Whoa! That's oh, quite far away, actually. All right. Ugh! Horrible thing. That's the way we need to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else. I think we're on the clear here. Alright. What have we got here? Nothing. Oh, there's a box. What's in the box? Okay. Ah! Health. Nice. Okay. Ah! Whoa! Jeez, please. So. Okay. Okay. Nothing even in it! Okay, so let's go in the middle. having a little little fight with that thing. So we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna slide round. Honestly, me personally would move a little bit quicker than this, but do you know what? That's fine. Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh god, it's coming this way. Em, please go. Go! Oh my god. <sighs> To the trench. Okay. Well, there's nothing here. All right. Well, it's always worth a check because you never know, I suppose. Okay. To the trench, barracks, medical. Okay. So, there is literally nothing here. Good God. Okay. <sighs> Medical. Maybe he'd be there to the front line. I'm thinking I need to sneak through here, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it. In here? No? Huh. Oof. Good God. Oh! Okay. Okay, it's another one of those things. Oh! Okay, yep. Don't think we can actually shoot this thing, so you know. Let's 
let's just, let's just, just, just stay away from it. Oh, God. <laughs> these things. Yeah. That's why I don't understand. Like, like demons or something. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Good God. to let it bust through the door. Did I find him? Is he here? Oh, God. Okay. So... Oh. Well. I don't think there was anything else in here, was there? No. Okay. Okay, so something something killed that for us, which is, you know, I appreciate that. <gasps> is that him? Wait a minute, time's paused. Today, the American Expeditionary Forces faced considerable John? losses in France. A brave men fallen on these elite John. fields will forever be oh, as John. defenders not of just Europe, but the world. What's the matter? Emily? President Woodrow Wilson spoke to our I can't do this. Widows, asking them to stand tall. What's the matter? I can't take you dying again. Speak of them proudly and remember I'm still them hurting. What's the matter, Emily? But the war effort in Europe is not our Your death was just so death numbers on the home front are on the rise due to Unfair. the influenza known as the Spanish flu. The New Orleans City Council decided to open yet another emergency hospital in the old Dersetto plantation. Ah. So is is that why, maybe? Did he died of the flu and he didn't die at war? What? Where is this? Where am I? Oh. In there? No. Some kind of cellar or basement or something? Yeah, alright. So that looks like a way out. What about over here? Oh my god. That bodies, that looks. Okay, why is. What? Excuse me! Oh, come on! Oh, okay, all right, all right. This is a little bit 
Okay, that's a foot. That's a human foot. That's a foot. This is some kind of offices or something. Hell. Ah, power. There's another door here. Um. Well, okay. Ah, so that resets that. That's those two. Bam. That's better. Okay. So, but what was through the other door then, I wonder? Whoa. De Seto Entombed. Okay, don't know what that does. What's this? De Seto Entombed Plans A. A set of technical drawings detailing how parts of De Seto will be sealed off. Okay. Dissetto Entombed Plans B. A set of technical drawings detailing how parts of Dissetto will be sealed off. So there's... Okay, so there's sealing off areas of the place? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, no, bullets. Okay, what's that? Box of biscuits, another lanyap. Okay, we're doing quite well on the old lanyaps now. Closing the Refuge. Closing the Refuge. June 17, 1919. It is with a heavy heart that I must declare the DeSeto Refuge to be harmful beyond saving. As an emergency hospital, we have over the last two years treated hundreds of patients suffering the so-called Spanish flu. Unfortunately, our mortality numbers are unforgivable. While the influenza in itself was often successfully treated... Many died of fungal infections and sudden acts of violent madness. In order to dismantle the refuge safely, building engineers will survey what parts of the house are especially contaminated by the peculiar rot discovered by Jean-Baptiste Tambois. The rot is believed to be the main perpetrator in spreading the deadly fungal infection, but also the cause of the incurable madness. The most Afflicted rooms will then be sealed permanently to create a cordon sanitaire. As the dead seem to exacerbate the spreading of the fungal infection, all bodies that can't be cremated by tomorrow will be forever entombed inside Dossetto's sealed section. The refuge was never meant to be permanent, and as the influenza epidemic seems to be in decline, it stands to reason that we shut the facility altogether. Many brave volunteers have helped for very little pay to treat those in need for almost two years, and we are forever in their debt. All surviving patients will be transferred to other medical facilities around New Orleans as soon as possible. At the end of the summer, we should be able to leave DeSeto to recover. Dr. Isaac Herbert. Mm. So was Emily's... Partner brought here, do you suppose? What's what's through this way? Ah, oh, need a key. What about the other red door? I'll take a quick peep before we do anything else. Just jeez. Need a key as well. Never mind. Never mind. So this was all sealed off. To stop this spread, I don't... Ooh. Okay. Ah, I see. So... Well, I think... That goes here. Uh, we might need to rotate it, I think. Is that not right? Or does that need to go there? Yes. What's that? 
Marcus John 217. 217. Let's just remember that. Is he down here? Is that him? Oh god. Two one seven it is. Oh god. Two seventeen. I didn't know this is where you would end up. I didn't want to know. I stopped visiting you because I couldn't stand the indignity of your awful illness. Oh dear. I was ashamed of you. <gasps> ashamed of myself. Forgive me. Please, John. Let me go. <laughs> oh, there's the dark man. Jeez. <sighs> Are we done here? Is this what you wanted? Key. The truth. So, the question is though, which door do we try? Should we try this one first, I suppose? Maybe? So what's the other one? Is it just another... another door out? What was... what was that? Toe tag. That's a lanyap as well. Okay. Let's have a little look around just to be sure. I don't want to miss anything. Oh. I think both roads lead to the same spot anyway. Yeah, I think, I think they do. Oh! the other door. Radiography notes. Radiography. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, 
A shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Ooh. A lobotomy. God. If all else fails. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing and I should have Waits order a new one. Jesus. Good God. Electrical fuse. Surgery room key. Another radiograph. So I'm guessing this key we should get us into here. Uh, surgery room key. Views, brilliant. What's this? Oh, good lord. Okay. Bust our way out. All right, fuses. Let's um, bung them in here. Uh, fuse, fuse. Yep. Okay. So that turns that one. There we go. Oh, that's better. All right. Well, let's just add to it. All right, so... go. Jeremy's darkness. A broken piece of burned clay, it suggests it's part of a statue. Okay. Well, all right. What a strange kettle of fish. Very strange. I don't think it's locked now. I think this will probably be yeah, locked as well. Only one way to go. Out. I think down here doesn't look like it. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh no, it's still happening.
Okay. What? Oh god. Okay. <sighs> I guess I never got a chance to look around this place. The rats lovely. Blah. Hello. What's this? Oh, scrap. Whoa. What's this? Some drink. Might actually take a little, little nip. Think we know what's in that box, but let's just have a little sniff around. What the hell? A weird bust. Hmm. Nothing else. Ooh, rats. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Six, four, one. So, is that largest to smallest or smallest to largest? I suppose uh, six, four, um, one. No. Maybe it's six, four, oop, four, one. No. Or is that nine? Hmm. Oh wait. That's why. That's why. I had the arrow wrong. I thought it was at the top there. It's not. The window. Okay, so the window? Jeez, that's a little um, on the nose. So, the window? Um. Ah, is there another window? Out, out, <gasps> out here? Nope. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay. This feels familiar somehow. Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy, where are you? Yes. I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking me. Jeremy? Can you hear the me? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll get the boat running. I'll, I'll get you out of here. Hmm. Quite, quite the spot. Is it not? Good God. But we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will continue on through this, what I believe is uh, one of those boats. I can't remember what they're called now. And um, see if we can dislodge it and get us going. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>